softness and of, you know, water and just going with the flow of things and sort of letting things occur and um, not being forceful but being gentle in the world as a way to acquire things that you are seeking in life. I think one of the really hard things for all of us to do as we get older and stop being children and become adults is we acquire our status. I mean, we, those of us that are here, many of us have acquired a lot of status, and some of it we've tried to put aside and live more simply, but we still have some status, and we still have a lot of power that maybe we don't think about all the time, but we have power every time, every time at 7 o'clock and I open the door at St. Francis House so people can come in because it's been closed and they can come in. Now, I'm exercising my power and I don't always realize that, but, I mean, those simple things, I get to decide when it's time to serve the food. I tell them when it's time that they have to be in when it's time for them to leave the house if they're not staying with us, or go to bed if they are staying with us. Those kinds of powers are things that we take for granted because, we think, well, we have to have some semblance of some kind of order or it's going to be complete chaos and we'll all go nuts. But those statuses are things that you don't see in that child that Jesus put in the circle. We have to be willing to recognize what power we have and what power we are retaining in our relationships and not abuse that power. Um, I think that's the kind of risk, you know, Rick talked about, you know, God taking a big risk when he gave us free will and to choose to love or not to love. I think we have to take some risk, too, and take the risk that we will be able to put aside the status that comes with that power and not abuse that power. I would, I would submit that babies 